Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of checking out your guys' solar system. So it's been like a week since I um, made last upload of this, so apologies for the long wait, but oh, I have been busy obviously with the documentary I made. And obviously if you've not seen that documentary I made, I highly recommend you check it out because I've put a lot of time into it and it was a really, really cool little project I um, made. So if you've not seen it, definitely check it out because it um, should interest you since everyone who's watched it so far um, seems to really like it. So yeah, it's just a little recommendation for me. And obviously if you're new, subscribe. That's on the journey to 4,000 subscribers. But today we're checking out a system from Mr. Missalot. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm saying that right. Yeah, I am. I'll leave a link to him down in the description like I always do for these episodes. So yeah, let's get into this. So the name of his system is called the... E Exxon system. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. So Exxon system here. So this system right here. So let's see we, what we've got today. So here we go. All right. So we've got oh relatively big system. Whoa. What? What is that object over there? Look at that. Wow. Okay. We definitely have to check that out at some point. But yeah. All right. Let's um, begin in the middle. So here is Exxon, the center star. So let's um, have a look here as well. So compared to the sun. Uh, just a tiny bit bigger, so this is about Alpha Centauri A size. Yeah, pretty much similar to that. So, yeah, there is um, Exxon. Um, let's check its luminosity and stuff. Um, so it's two, just about two times brighter than the sun. Obviously, there's its mass and radius, and it's a little hotter, it looks like, as well. So, there is our star. Okay, first planet. Let's see what we got here. Looks like it's actually being destroyed by the star. It's losing material. So this is Exxon A. I really hope I'm saying that right. So we've got Exxon A here. So some obviously a burnt up gas giant. As we can see, it's um, getting roasted by the star. Look at that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we've got Exxon A. Not the largest planet. Smaller than... Um, is it smaller than Planet 9? It, well, let's get a Planet 9 from... Yeah, it is smaller than Planet 9. So, yeah, a little smaller than Planet 9. Still bigger than Earth, as you can see there. So there is that, the first planet. So a gas giant. Usually you guys do put a rocky planets first. So it's nice to see a bit of uniqueness there. Then we've got... Um, the B, so planet B, so X on B, another gas giant with lots of moons around it as well. So there we go, second gas giant. Okay, so there is the first moon here. Oh wow, look at the colours on that. Okay, ooh, I like that. So it's minus nine degrees here. Pretty cold. Looks like a foresty sort of um, planet here. So there is that. Looking, I do, I do like that colour scheme. If that had water on it. It probably make it look even cooler. But yeah, that that is. I definitely like that. Um, next up, we've got um, Exxon B2. So this is a atmosphered one. It's more like a Venus sort of world with um, 192 degrees. Also very small as well, only 300. Then we've got this next moon, which also has a moon of its own there, or a little something of it in it. So Xeon B3. So it's a cool view there. Let's get a cool view of our gas giant. So let's um, land up here, have a look around. Okay, now we are clearly not in the right place here. So, oh god. <laughs> Let's um let's land here. That should um, work. So if we look round, there's a gas giant. So seeing that in the sky, look at that. That looks pretty cool. So there you go. Look at that. There's obviously the sun. So it's sunrise, and there's our gas giant. Very very nice. So there's that. This guy's also um, a little bigger than the previous moons we've seen, with an Earth-like sort of look to it as well. Um, let's check its composition here. Only, uh, where's this Earth sitting around? See, 75.5 in a very low life likelihood, as we can see. But life is still possible. <laughs> um, then it's first, or the moon orbit in it, the, this little spacecraft. The habit Habibility Craft. I, I think I said that right. So, the Habibility Craft. So, it is a um, stage 3 stage Saturn V rocket. <laughs> it's a stage 3 of Saturn V there. So, pretty cool indeed. Okay. So there is that. Okay, what have we got next? Then we've got Explorer 1. So this is a Voyager probe. Oh, hello. So we've got a Voyager probe um, over here. So there it is there. Look at that. Yeah, that's Voyager. So Explorer 1. Very nice. Okay, let's see what we have next. Okay, so if we zoom out all the way here. So then we've got Xeon C. Oh, we've got a purple one. Oh, okay. Wow, oh, that's a very... Look at the colour of that. That's a really nice mix with the blue. Look at that. That's really nice. Gotta say, that, definitely a thumbs up for me. That does look pretty cool. And it's on its side as well. It, yeah, it looks like it's on its side. Is it? Yeah, it is relatively tilted, as we can see there. So that is definitely the coolest object we've seen, or I think I've seen so far. So there it is there. Also with um, Earth's similarity and life likelihood, it's got a tiny little um, spacecraft around it here. Another Saturn V rocket. Then um, it's got a tiny little um, rocky moon. 
And then another little rocky moon. So there is that. But yeah, that is a really cool looking object, I have to say. So Z on C. Okay, next up we've got Z on D. Ooh, it's got the um, the indigo coloured atmosphere here. Look at that. So the indigo atmosphere there. So, well, it's the closest thing you can get to purple in a normal spawn. So, yeah, there is that. So, Z on D. It's got a very, um, that's a surface mapper. So, that's a um, New Horizon spacecraft. Surface mapper, another New Horizon spacecraft. So, pretty cool indeed. I like, um, I like what he's done with the um, orbits, how it makes a perfect cross shape. As you can see, there, that that's pretty cool. Hopefully, they don't hit each other. <laughs> no, they won't. You can clearly see one of them is closer to the planet. But, yeah, that's a pretty cool... Um, Little um or little space probes there. Then we've got um Xeon D1. So this is a moon. Also with um, I'm guessing it has some Earth similarity to it since it is a water world. Life likelihood's very low, but yeah, there's an Earth um, similarity as well. Quite a cool view from to the main planet. Look at that. Quite far away. So it reminds me of the Earth and Moon sort of distance. That is quite a big gap between them. Yes, um, definitely similar to the distance between the Moon and the Earth. So there is its stats. So 9 degrees, not the cold or not the warmest place in the world. So it also has a little thing around it. National Explorer Satellite. So that is a Juno spacecraft. So there is that. Okay, cool. I like that little um, system. There. Let's check the planet again. I just want to get you to check the composition. 14, that's the highest, um, highest life likelihood so far. 14.6. Highest Earth similarity as well on Z on D. Or E on D. I'm really hoping I'm saying them right. Um, then we've got um, Z on, or E on Gre. I, I, oh, got my keep scrapping these names i'm so sorry yeah we've got the e planet e now so this is the largest object we've seen so far apart from the star so there is that um and it's got a moon oh look at the red on it oh i like that so a frozen red and this is like a, it looks like a frozen desert almost so it's like a, a desert planet with a frozen sea almost so that'd be like mars sort of similar thing to mars is what i get from that i'll see it it's got a very very low life like it goes off the chart there 0.0000000001 then we got 38.3 earth similarity so yeah pretty chilly there um next up we've got xeon e2 so this is a titan Let's see if there's any um custom surface below no it's just a frozen over ball so there is the titan <laughs> so minus 80 degrees here um it has a satellite orbit in it as well Explorer 2 damaged. So this is another Voyager probe. It's damaged. It's he's also um, changed its angle, the way it's pointing. So it is damaged. Pretty cool. It's very close to the um, our moon as well. Um, let's put the labels back on. Then we, next up we've got um, E3. So this one here. So there is that. So very cold here as well. Also go with an interesting blue and yellow sort of color scheme there. So there is that guy. Let's zoom out. Okay, next up we've got looks like the last planet. Oh, there is Soul Explorer. That's the um, that is um, the Cassini probe. That's the one with this crazy orbit there. So it looks like this is the last object then. So Xeon F. So very large object as well. I think it's the largest one we see. It also has an enormous moon. Look at the size of that. More like a binary planet system. And this guy also has a little um, Voyager probe in orbit of it as well. So there we go. There is that. Okay, so is that everything then? Let's have a look here, because I know that big orbit was there. Is that literally just the probe? I think it is, because that literally goes on forever. Like, you can see there's definitely nothing at the end of that. So let's get a lineup of all the objects now. Let's have a look here. So obviously the Star Dwarfs, all of them. So there is a Xeon F, so that's the largest object. And we've got a mixture of all the other gas giants here and there. But I've got to say, though, this one here. Yeah, is this one? Yeah, this is my favourite. That, I really, really think that looks good. That definitely a well done on that. That is cool. I definitely like that object. Um, so we've got, obviously, these um, water worlds. A lot of water worlds. There's definitely a big mix of water and gas giants in here. Then, obviously, we've got the frozen ones. This one is quite cool as well, but it definitely would look better with an atmosphere and an um, ocean, if you ask me personally. This one here, also, I definitely like it. That is very nice. And also, we've got the Titan, and then we've got the little um, asteroids at the end. And then all the little probes. We'll go have a look at them as well. So... There we go, let's zoom all the way down here, and yeah, there they are. So let's go on flashlight mode, get a good look at them all. So there we go, so we've got two Saturn V's, so we've got one Juno, um, we've got two New Horizons, two Voyagers, then we have a Cassini probe. Oh no, three, we've got three Voyagers, one Juno, two um, New Horizons. So yeah, there we go, guys, that is all of the Zeon, or the Eon system. I'm really, of e I'm really hoping I'm saying this right, but that, that's that whole system, so... Obviously, if you guys liked it, um, let us know in the comments what you thought about it. I'm pretty sure Mr. Missalot will be um, interested to see what your thoughts on his system are. 
Um, so yeah, that is everything. So if you like the video, make sure you to, um, leave a like, subscribe for more, helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers because that would be amazing. Obviously, a huge thanks to everyone who tuned into the live stream yesterday and has watched that documentary video because honestly, I highly recommend you check it out if you've not seen the documentary I made. Um, so yeah, if you want to find it, just go to the playlist and the special projects playlist or just look back on the recent videos because it should be there as well. So yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.